As I mentioned in the last movie, InDesign protects master page items when you're on a document page. You can't move them, you can't delete them, you can't even select them. I've opened this document from the exercise folder, 04B Art History, and I can see that I have my running headers up here already. I'll zoom in on this running header on the left side of the page, and there's something interesting about this frame. It has a dotted line. The dotted line means it's a master page item. Of course, that dotted line is overridden by guides on three sides, but you get the idea. The dotted line indicates a master page item. If I try and click on this to move it or edit it, nothing happens. But I thought InDesign was all about letting me express my creativity. What if I want to change that? Can't I? Well, you can. You just need to know the trick. And the trick is you have to hold down two modifier keys, the Command and Shift on Mac or Control and Shift on Windows. And when you're holding those modifier keys down and then click, it overrides it. It pulls it off the master page and it becomes a document page item. You can see that there's no longer a dotted line around it. It becomes a real selectable object that I can move, I could delete, I could edit it, anything I want. I'll zoom out with Command Option 0 or Control Alt 0 so I see the whole spread. And I'll Command Shift click or Control Shift click on Windows on this other object over here. And that deselects it, it overrides it so it becomes a page object. Now I can just delete them. They're gone. But what if I didn't mean to delete them? What if that was a mistake? Well, don't panic. You can always get master page items back. And the way you do that is you go to the Pages panel menu, scroll down to the Master Pages submenu, and choose Remove All Local Overrides. It's kind of a double negative there. You're removing the overrides. In other words, you're putting back everything that was on the master page. Now, sometimes you'll open a document that somebody sends you, and you'll find that you still can't override those master page items. It can really be a mystery. Let me show you what's going on. I'll double click on my master page to jump to it, and I can select those master page items by shift clicking on each of them. That selects both of them. Now I'll go to the pages panel menu, scroll down to master pages, and turn off allow master item overrides on selection. That basically tells InDesign don't let anybody change those master page items. In fact, if I go back to my document pages, you'll see something interesting. I'll zoom in here so you can see it better. There's no dotted line. There's no solid line. There's no line at all. That's my indication that that item cannot be overridden. When it comes to building structured documents such as books and magazines, master pages are a necessity for an efficient workflow, and controlling each master page item is key in making sure the final document ends up just the way you wanted it.